Now a key piece to the Verde's offensive success has been the addition of veteran midfielder Ethan Finley. He's got 11 points already this season. Five goals, six helpers, his highest offensive output since 2016. Outside the box, season one, episode four. Tyler Feldman, Ethan Finley joining me. It's called Outside the Box, but we find ourselves in another box, the T-Box, pretty funny. It is. It, I've scored most of my goals in the box, so hopefully I'll uh, have some good swings here today. I got into golf, um, really through my dad. Um, but it wasn't really until, honestly, I became a pro. The Wolf family, uh, I would say, uh, specifically Owen, they're, they're very good. Andrew Tarbell, uh, John Gallagher plays, Hector Jimenez, Kip Keller. Ethan, you're having a great season. 11 points. What's been the key to your on the pitch success this year? A change of scenery was really important in the off season, but along with that was going back, going to a place where I had some familiarity with the type of style we were gonna play, with the people. And I think that's what I found. I knew and I could see even through last year, um, the way that, that Austin plays and the way you know, that co uh, Josh coaches, uh, it fits my playing style. If you sink one shot, you get to win the Masters. What one club are you picking out of your bag here? I think I'm going probably nine iron. We're one, let's just call it about 145, maybe 150 with a little wind down. That's probably my shot. And I do that. <laughs> the cameras are on, it's a different kind of swing. That's why I don't understand how the pros do it so consistently. They are, uh, they're impressive. Okay, so, you know, this is a guy who's been on camera. That was lucky. No, that was good. I that don't think I could do, that was, that was probably pure. my best swing that was of the day. There yeah, it there it is. That's the shot. That's the shot. Hopefully you got that one. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite music? If I'm gonna choose like a concert to go to, It'd be like a Mumford and Sons. I will wait for you. John Mayer. Little, yeah. I will yeah. wait. 100%. You got it. You. Delta's probably like one of my favorite albums of them. Well, was a Swifty at one point. <laughs> favorite thing to do in Austin since you've been here? I've really liked going out on Lake Austin. Um, I mean, that's been a little bit fun. I'm a family guy, so Lake Travis might be a little bit too wild for me. In 10 years, where do you see yourself? I think my ideal job would be to be a GM, to be a sporting director for a club. My expertise for the last you know, 11 years is in soccer. So, you know, whatever it is, I envision myself being in soccer. I think 10 years from, from today, I think I'll be involved in soccer. Maybe it'll be here for Austin FC. I was a finance major, so like numbers is how I see things. I, like I watch CNBC in the morning, like for my news. I thought you were gonna say uh, you're a KVU news guy in the morning. <laughs> we won't hold that against you. Uh, it's all right. I, uh, it's CNBC and then, then KVU news there probably you go. at daybreak. I'm always intrigued by how name pronunciations go. So oh, it's spelled, gosh. It's spelled Finlay, yeah. but pronounced Finley. Correct? That's correct. You're not going to like a, my answer to this question, can probably. Can we get an, uh, a it, description or a better understanding for the fans out there for why it's Finley? It just is what it is. How about that? You can, you can talk to my grandpa about it, all right? I actually had to, at one point asked him, like, just to verify, like, OK, is this how my name is supposed to be said? Um, and they, you know, my grandpa's like, yeah, that's what it is. So, um, you know, he's, they, my dad is Canadian. Uh, they're Scottish originally. So, um, I don't know what to tell you folks. You can just call me Ethan, you know? So Ethan, you married then? Yes, I am. And I have a 15 month old uh, daughter. Oh. Yeah, so uh, that's why I would say my golf game, it probably hasn't improved much in the last year, but I still uh, like to get out when I can. How do you balance dad duty with soccer duty? Yeah, it's, you know, it's tough. And I think, you know, you naturally you miss moments, right? Uh, whether it be traveling, preseason, those types of things. But we're also fortunate that you get, you know, most of the, you know, late afternoons, evenings off and we can be home. And that time is the best. It really is. For all the poopy diapers and the things that the food that they're going to throw on you, they can be just terrible for 23 hours out of the day for you. And then they're just going to do something so precious, so sweet, so innocent, and they're just going to bring you right back in. Um, and so those are the moments you look forward to. Good cut.